Hey, what's up guys, it's Chase. Final Cut Pro 11 just dropped and I thought it'd be an amazing opportunity to check out how we can edit in spatial video. I'm here in India and I just shot all day at the Taj Mahal with my iPhone 16 Pro in spatial video. So let's check out how it all works. Okay, the first step is we're gonna create a new project here and we're going to select on the dropdown Spatial Stereo 3D. This is the new mode that was just added in Final Cut Pro 11. As you can see, I'm adding Taj Mahal as my project name. I'm using the right side of the hero eye and I'm just gonna hit okay to create the project. You plug in your phone via USB-C into your Mac and get ready to import the footage. Now, please note you wanna unlock your phone before trying to do this, otherwise it won't show up. The footage may be slow to load initially, but once it does, you import it like you normally would. As the clips start to finish their import, you'll notice that their symbol changes to a cube. And as you can see, you just add it like you normally do. I have a couple clips here laid out on the timeline, and I'm gonna just scrub through it to show you that nothing has really changed, except for the fact that this is now spatial video enabled. Okay guys, I'm doing one of the world's first Final Cut Pro 11 spatial videos. We're here at the Taj Mahal, okay? So I hope you feel like you're really here with me, because that's what Final Cut enables. Check it out. Once you're done with the edit, go to share, click on the newly enabled Apple Vision Pro export with the MV-HVAC codec, and you export. But here's the problem. So quick observation, quick little note, there's no possible way you'll be able to see my spatial video because you can't watch it unless you have a Vision Pro, unless I text it to you or something, I don't know. Maybe I'll upload it to a Dropbox and we'll see if you can watch. I, I, to be continued. Well, the share is done, so let's just grab this now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my hat on because I don't wanna look stupid. Okay, in theory, I'm screen recording this, I'm filming on that camera right there, the DJI Osmo, which is incredible. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna airdrop this file, in theory, to my Vision Pro. Oh, there, we got it, boom. Wow. This is pretty good. Wow. I am very exciting about this. So we know that it works within the actual uh, Photos app once you airdrop it to yourself. But my question is, what happens if I do this? So I'm now mirroring my computer screen to my Vision Pro and I have exported the spatial video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over here and I'm actually curious, what happens if I play it after I've started mirroring it? Oh wait, I can't do that. <laughs> I have to have a mouse. So let's hit, boom. Okay, so this just plays it normally. In summary, once you've edited the video, you can't mirror the screen to your Vision Pro. You have to either airdrop it to yourself or I guess text it to yourself so you can watch it in the photos environment. So that's gonna do it for this video. And you know what? This is the first video I've shot on the DJI Osmo. And I have to say, it's pretty awesome. Love it. And you know what? I almost love it as much as I love spatial video on Final Cut Pro. Yeah. That's it guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you here next time on Elevate TV. Peace.